Today, I'm sharing our secret weapon for shooting more video content faster is our tried and true prep sheet. Hi, I'm Katie Hawkins, founder of Here For Good Films, a video production company who has created content for brands like The Home Depot, Chick-fil-A, and Boys and Girls Clubs of America. But today, I'm here to share our secret for capturing all the content you need the fastest and most efficient way possible. Because as entrepreneurs, we know that time is money, so let's get started. A shoot is only as good as your plan, and that's why pre-production is so important. Pre-production is the planning phase of a video shoot, and the more you can plan, the more efficient you will be, and the more creative fun you can have on set. Let's look at our prep sheet. Today, I'm gonna to use an example of a video that we've already created. So that way you can compare what the finished video looks like to what the prep sheet looked like. All right, let's get started. So there are four things that every video needs, a title, a goal, a hook, and a call to action. So let's look at each one of these. The first thing you'll wanna decide on a title for your video. So for this one, we kept it simple and we just have the Canva tip number and then what they're going to learn as the title for this series. Next, you'll have the goal. So what is the point of the video? Why should anyone watch it? What are they going to learn? You'll want to put that here. Next, we'll have the video hook or how are you gonna get your audience's attention and pull them into your video? So this is gonna be your opener. And then you'll have your call to action. So what do you want your audience to do once they finish watching the video? In this case, we want them to subscribe to learn all things video for entrepreneurs. Now that you know what the video is about and what you want the audience to do, think and feel, let's write it out with your script. It's important to have a script, even if you don't follow it word for word. If you have specific brand messaging, it will save you time when you are filming because you'll know when you need to say what. If you have everything you want to say scripted out, it makes it so much quicker and easier to reference if you get stuck with what to say. You can simply look at your notes, collect your thoughts, and then keep on moving. There's nothing worse than not having a script and then having to think about what you're going to say on shoot day, or worse, while the camera is rolling. That's more added time in your edit and more footage that you'll have to sort through. Okay, now that we have our script, let's break it down into smaller chunks so it's easier for us to remember on shoot day. No one wants to have to learn more than a few sentences strung together. So we will put these into the audio column. All right, so now we have our scripts broken down into sections. In each section is where a camera cut will be. So either, either you'll punch in or you'll switch to a different camera angle. Next, let's think about what else we will be hearing. Will we hear any sound effects? Or maybe there'll be music playing. Anything that you hear, you'll add that in this column. So in your visual column, you'll add anything that you want to see. So whether that's text or logos or animations, um, anything that you're going to see, you'll put in the visual column. So for this example, it's pretty simple. We just have lower thirds throughout. So we'll have a lower thirds as an example in the intro. And then when I introduce myself, we'll have a lower thirds come up. And then we have the screen flow, which I usually just kind of do those as I go. Um, so I don't script those out too much or get too specific on them. And then if you want like a logo at the end, you can add that here as well. In the notes column, you can add anything you might need a reminder for, or you can also take notes here on the day that you're shooting. So that way, if you're handing this off to an editor and want to remind yourself to let them know that, hey, take two is better than take one, then you can add those notes here. It's also a great reminder and time saver when you're starting your own edit as well. There's also props column. So anything you wanna hold up and talk about or just have in frame that you want your audience to see, make a note of those items here. That way on shoot day, you can go ahead and pull these items and they're already prepped and ready to go, making your shoot date that much easier and streamlined. Lastly, let's plan your outfit. Will you need to change outfits throughout the video? If so, make a note of when and where those outfit changes will take place and what you will wear. Now, you thought through everything you'll need to make your video happen. When you have your prep sheet done for multiple videos, then you can look at them together and figure out a rough timeline for the day. Once you know that, you can batch all your video content to maximize your time in front of the camera. Want to learn to shoot and edit your own video content? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn all things video for entrepreneurs.